I like it when it's a little, like you can, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. I don't know, I, I love everything about it. Probably gonna insult either you or your mother. It doesn't matter on Thanksgiving day. What's up everybody? I'm Sydney Goodman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm really, oh my gosh, there's a cat party going on right here. Wait, I wanna show you. So we have one cat. Hey bud. Hello. Oh, there's Chester. Welcome. Thanks for coming back. Uh, so I thought that today we would be, <laughs> I thought today we would be ranking, sorry, I'm also, it's really hot in here, but I'm wearing, I should just take this off. I'm too hot, one second. So anyways, I also, I kind of look like that woman from Silicon Valley that just like conned all of those people there. The blood lady. I don't look like her, but she wears black turtlenecks in my head. I don't know if that's true. Anyways, it's coming up on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving day. I thought that we could rank some Thanksgiving foods, or at least that's what we're gonna end up doing. But before we do that, um, I have a problem. I know that the new consoles are out already. Obviously, I have one, it's over there. My PlayStation's in that box. By the time this video comes out, I have to let you know, the PlayStation just got here. So I haven't, it hasn't been sitting in box, a box for a couple weeks. But anyways, right before the dawn of the new console, my old Xbox, which is like, it's not a day one, but it's a year one Xbox one. And it's broken. <laughs> it just completely went kaput for me. And I'm pretty sure I have a disc in there. Um, so before I recycle it or donate it or however I'm supposed to dispose of it, um, I need to figure out how to get the disc out. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do first. Only because I know that if I don't do it now, I will forget and I'm pretty sure Ori is in there. Okay, hi. So the issue is that, look, here. Do you hear it? It wants to turn on, but it's not going to. I seriously can't remember if I put, if there's a disc in here, but I just, I don't want to get rid of it. If there is, I don't want to get rid of the disc that is. I'm going to try and figure out how to open this. I just, should I like Google it? How to get disc out of broken Xbox One. How to manually eject a disc from, oh, amazing, I'm watching an ad. Okay, Vince is helping us. My mate Vince is the YouTube channel that's helping us right now. We're looking for an orange marker. Oh, smart. I thought I was gonna have to open this entire thing up. Oh, apparently there is a, oh, you can see it. Can you see that orange thing right there? I'm not gonna act like I know what I'm talking about. If I stick a paper clip in there, I should be able to force eject. Okay, I feel really sad. So the only paper clip I could find is this really cute little airplane one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna break it apart now. Well, how much do people want to bet that there won't be anything in this Xbox? I just, I swear that it's in here. And I feel like better safe than sorry, you know? So. I can't, I can't tell. I don't think there's, oh, there is a disc in there. Look, can you see it? It's like emerging. It like really wants to come out. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, little guy. <sighs> Look, we're getting closer. The thing is, I have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Sorry, I know that was a humble brag. I could have just stopped at Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Technically, I could finish Ori with that, but I don't want to because I want the disc. This thing's like really in there. Is that? That doesn't feel right. Is this smart? Kind of stuck. Ooh, look. Wait, you guys, I for sure punctured it. No, do you see that? That's from my paper clip. Well, I have it. Let's we'll see, I guess if it works. Oops, well that was a nice little adventure to kick things off. So Thanksgiving is coming up. I love what Thanksgiving 
is in terms of like seeing my family. My mom kicks a lot of good food. I cook good food. Everyone's cooking good food. We're watching football. It's a good time. That is now um, obviously what Thanksgiving was originally is not the best. But I'm curious, because I do think there's like a hierarchy of Thanksgiving food for sure. I am really strategic with what I eat because you can like eat too much and then you don't enjoy the food because you're shoving your face and then you're tired and upset and it's just, nobody wants to feel that way, you know? So, oh, you can't, I have a screen protector on. Let's rank the Thanksgiving food. So first up is rice, which I know not everybody has rice at Thanksgiving, but we do because if you're Asian, you probably understand like we have rice for like every meal and Thanksgiving dinner is a meal. So we have rice. Here's the thing, in terms of like rice existing in the context of other food, it is S tier. Nothing can beat rice. It goes with everything. It is fluffy and wonderful and just, it's so rice. I love rice. But in the context of like Thanksgiving food, I feel like I don't really prioritize rice because I eat it almost every day. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter on Thanksgiving day. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to put rice, this like physically pains my being. I'm gonna have to put rice in rank D. Sorry, rice. I'm also kind of wondering, should we like change the names of these? Okay, this is Skip. S tier is seconds. Well, no, we're gonna call this trash tier. I'll keep this S tier. A is like pretty good. B is like definitely deaf on my plate. And then C is like, eh. Maybe I put it on my plate so that whoever brought it doesn't feel bad, but like, I'm not gonna eat it. Cool. Okay, so now that we've renamed our tiers, uh, we have rice is trash tier only on Thanksgiving. Normally it's totally S tier and just is the biggest MVP, but no, you know, okay, it's moving up. It's moving up to, I put it on my plate, but I'm not gonna eat it. But I put it on my plate because I don't want it to feel bad because it's rice and like, you know, Strong connection. Um, next up we have mashed potatoes. So I love mashed potatoes, but mashed potatoes is another one that when it's Thanksgiving, I just like don't really care about it because it's mashed potatoes and you can have like mashed potatoes anytime. Um, so anyways, mashed potatoes, I think is definitely on my plate, but just a little bit, not too much uh, because I don't want to fill up on it, but I think it's like a nice compliment with everything else. Also, sorry, Kirby. It's just, you guys, this is the best pillow. I love it so much. Like I could go to bed right now. Okay, anyways, stuffing. Hey yo, I love stuffing. Stuffing is S tier for me. There's something about it being like mushy and salty and just like wonderful that I freaking love. Like it just makes me so happy to know that it is in my belly. I love that it's just like, I don't know, I, I love everything about it. Stuffing is uh, amazing. Box stuffing is great. Homemade stuffing is usually pretty good. There's very little that I can complain about. Like you pretty much only have stuffing around the holidays. So it's joyful. It like reminds me that like Christmas is coming and it's just a good, it's a good time. Stuffing is a good ass time. Okay. Sweet potato pie, I have never actually had, and I think there's a reason for it. It's because it's trashed here. There's no reason for it to exist. It looks too similar to pumpkin pie, and it just is, like, I don't understand it. I feel like my brain, when I see sweet potato pie, my brain's like pumpkin pie, and then I have a bite, and it's not that, and so I'm kind of just like, oh. Mm. So that's why it's trashed here. Okay, now we have pumpkin pie which I also, first of all, after that pumpkin video, I don't look at pumpkin the same way, but then pumpkin pie, I've never really liked just cause it's like, there's so many other better desserts and I feel like every pumpkin pie tastes the exact same. It's not very exciting or very good. So it, a trash tier feels aggressive because I would eat it. So I'll put it on with rice. Now, cream corn. I think it depends who's making your cream corn. Cause my mom, and I'm not just saying this cause it's my mom. My mom makes straight up the best cream corn. Like go to Lowry's, go to some other restaurant that has cream corn, like any of those steak places. 
Mastro's, go to like, I guess Ruth Chris. I've never been there, I don't know. Their cream corn is like good. But my mom's is like good. It's so good. I don't know, let me know if you want the recipe. I'll ask her for it. It's S tier. It's S, my mom's cream corn is S tier. However, I think that there are many cream corns that are not S tier. Uh, so I can't get comfortable. I'm like not sure how to sit. <laughs> It's like weird, that's weird. I look like, do you know what I look like? Those little, did anybody ever play Ori? The little like, I can't remember his name, it's not Kuro. It's the, the spider thing. Anyways, so next up, this was sent in, gallo pinto, which is um, rice and beans. I mean, I'm sure there's other things in the recipe. Um, I've actually had this, but not in the context of Thanksgiving. It's pretty good. If somebody brought it, I'd put it on my plate, um, but I probably wouldn't eat it just because I eat, I would eat it at a later time, or I would take leftovers for after Thanksgiving. I will say, I think that like Thanksgiving is just, it's a holiday about strategy, right? Because your stomach can only get so full and there's certain foods that you just, they're better as leftovers. And that's why stuffing is S tier because stuffing is something that is great day of and it's even better the next day or within the next five days. Okay, this little guy, is biryani, I think is how you say it, biryani, um, which is like a chicken and rice, chicken and rice situation. I've also had this, again, not on Thanksgiving. I think if somebody brought it, I would definitely put it on my plate because I really like it, um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like shove my face in it. I would put some on my plate, have a few bites, and then put the rest in a to-go container so I could eat it later. That's what I would do. Okay, so somebody said cream pie. I didn't know that cream pie existed outside of with bananas. So I put banana cream pie, which is one of my favorite pies. I think banana cream pie is an S tier pie, but maybe, no, you know what? I do think it's S tier. I think it's S tier Thanksgiving food. I really do. There's something about it. I like mush, I guess. I don't know. Banana cream pie, easy peasy, S tier, love it. Uh, dinner rolls. That to me is trash tier. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Thanksgiving is honestly, it's the Super Bowl of foods. Oh, why? This is so, why am I doing this? This is so intense. I'm an intense person, I guess. Uh, okay, so this is the cranberry sauce that comes in the, the can. I'm not... Like, why do people like this? If you like cranberry sauce from the can, please let me know in the comments because I just, I don't understand it. Like you can literally see the ridges from the can on it. And the consistency is like, I'm not sure what to make of it. Like, do you, how do you eat it? Do you chop it up or do you just like eat a slice with the turkey? So this is chicharron. Um, I don't eat chicharron because I don't eat pork. So I guess it would be in the trash for me, but I know a lot of people like it and it's losing by a technicality, which sucks, but. Okay, um, pecan pie. I love pecan pie. I think that candied pecans is like so good. And actually, so pecan pie, is it pecan or pecan? I pecan imagine eating this on Thanksgiving. Um, so when I was a kid, Nickelodeon was running these ads that were like, don't eat too much children sort of a thing. It said that one pecan pie or like a slice of pecan, pecan pie was the equivalent of like 12 cheeseburgers or something. And so for the longest time, I thought that like specifically pecan pie was like really bad for you. And I mean, pecans are like high in calories, I guess. And so I was really afraid of pecan pie. And then as an adult, I had it and I was like, Shit. It's S tier. Okay, so now we have homemade cranberry like jam or cranberry sauce. Cranberry relish, I think is technically what it's called. I think it's pretty good. It's definitely on my plate. I know that I just spent a long time like completely trash talking cranberry sauce, but I think the reason why it doesn't make sense to me is because cranberry sauce, like, yes, it's inexpensive, but so are cranberries, and like, it's not that hard to make cranberry sauce. You just like boil it to death with some sugar and then like mash it, and that's like super easy. I like that it looks, it resembles what it's supposed to be, and it doesn't have can marks on it, so it's definitely on my plate. Sweet potato casserole. So 
I don't actually think it's very good and I both love marshmallows, brown sugar, and sweet potatoes, but like it just never is very good because to be completely honest with you and I'm gonna drop a truth bomb that we're, I'm just gonna say and then we're gonna move on past it because I'm probably gonna insult either you or your mother and that I just, that's not my intention, but sometimes the truth hurts. So I think sweet potato, the people who make sweet potato casserole like usually are not very good at cooking. <laughs> I don't know why, just like every time I've had sweet potato casserole, the person who who made it, just like it, I don't understand how you mess it up and how it has such little flavor when it like literally, it has marshmallows on it. It should be delicious. I don't understand. But I will, before you get too angsty with me, I will say sweet potato casserole, the people who bring sweet potato casserole, maybe they're not the best cooks, but they're usually like so nice and kind hearted and wonderful, which is probably why they, th they felt like, oh, I should bring something, but I'm not very good at cooking. So I'm gonna like try really, really hard. But then it just like didn't work out. So for that reason, I would put it on my plate so that whoever brought it doesn't feel bad, but like, I'm not gonna eat it. And then next up we have the coveted leftover turkey sandwich. Now this picture that I'm looking at has spinach on it, which I don't really know why you would put spinach on it. Like I don't think it would literally add anything to the sandwich, except for maybe make you feel a little bit better that you have spinach in your sandwich. I don't really know. Um, but I like to do a nice toasted bread we have some turkey in there, we have some mashed potatoes, we have some stuffing, and we have some cranberry relish. And to me, that's just, that's like the point of Thanksgiving, honestly. The sandwich the next day. So good, it's S tier. A uh, gravy, gravy is pretty good. It's an enhancer, you know? Um, and then next up, I think this is green bean casserole, which, Oh no, is that potato salad? I can't tell. Yeah, green bean casserole's over there. So this is potato salad, and I think the fact that I can't tell what it is says enough for me, which is I don't really want it, and it doesn't sound good. Okay, so I know I spend a lot of time trash talking dinner rolls, but I do love a biscuit. The biscuit for me is pretty good. I know that you can pretty much have a biscuit at any point in your life, but for some reason they just taste better at Thanksgiving and I'm always really conflicted because there's the biscuits, but then there's the cornbread and I never really know which one I wanna eat, but it doesn't really feel worth it to me to eat both. But I'm gonna put both of them on pretty good, just kidding, I'm gonna, I'm bumping, okay, we figured it out. Cornbread goes on pretty good because I love cornbread. I love corn anything, cornbread, it's just, I like it when it's a little, like you can, it's like, oh, it's corn. Oh, delicious you know maybe not I'm doing a poor job explaining it but I feel like cornbread has this certain aspect of it that just feels like feels like a hug kind of and then we have yams uh, so I know I did sweet potato casserole so yams my mom I tried to find a picture of how my mom makes it I think they're called candy yams technically it's basically just like syrup and yam and I love them I would say it's S tier for sure. Okay, uh, and then here, I think this is a turkey. Yeah, that is a turkey. Um, I would say the turkey is definitely on my plate. Again, my okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. My mom is like such a good cook. She's a fantastic cook and I love my mom. So that's probably the reason I'm just like, yes, I love, I love it. It's so good. And my mom makes an amazing turkey. And there were some years where she would try some, some stuff and you know, her and I both know, maybe it wasn't the best year for turkey but she has perfected her recipe and her turkey is so good. And so now we finally have made it to the green bean casseroles, which a lot of you, when I asked for suggestions, said you did not like green bean casserole. And I am with you on that. I think it is trash tier. There is not very many, like it just doesn't have very many redeeming qualities. And I think that it's just setting you up for failure. Realistically, it's green beans in this like sauce stuff and the only redeeming quality is the fact that there are crunchy fried onions on top. And so sometimes I accidentally put it on my plate because I'm so stoked about those onions. But then it's like by the time you get to it, the liquid has softened everything. And so everything is like the same consistency. And it's just, I don't know, I think green beans are great on their own and they just don't deserve to be treated like that. Honey baked ham, um, again, this is something that a lot of you requested and actually a lot of you really liked and said nay to the turkey and yay to the ham. Why did I just say that? But I think it's trash here. I just don't think it's very good. I think that like the worst part too is there's that white, sometimes it's like the white like veiny stuff that kind of connects it and you're like taking a bite and then it's like, and you kind of have to tongue through it. 
No, thank you. We have some bangers to close it out. Okay, so next up is mac and cheese. I think it really depends who makes it, but if it's the mac and cheese that is in this picture, I'd say absolutely. I love those like crunchy mac and cheese at the where it's crunchy on the top and the inside's like nice and gooey and warm and wonderful and just like but if it looked like this, definitely on my plate. I'm definitely having some, and I'm thinking about getting seconds, but I probably will stop myself, hopefully. So next up is flan. Um, I think for me, I would put it on my plate, but I probably wouldn't eat it because I don't like flan. I only like flan in one scenario. Two, three, scenario, two, three, two, one scenario. One scenario. There is a shop, a dessert shop in LA, it's in Sautel, called Be Sweet. And they have this hollow hollow, and it's my favorite hollow hollow in the city. So good. And it has a leche flan in it, on it, in it. So if you don't know what hollow hollow is, it's a um, Filipino dessert, and it's like a shaved ice thing. And hollow hollow translates to mix mix. So it's like layers of different things. So it has like red bean, it has like macapuno, it has like, oh, I don't know how to say it. It's called like ube halaya, I think is how you say it. Um, but it's basically this like ube jammy pudding thing. It's so good. It's one of my favorites. And then this place has ube ice cream and then it's shaved ice, condensed milk on top. And then they also put this leche flan. So I really like it in that context, but I don't think I just like have a whole thing of flan. I think the consistency would be too much for me. Speaking of Filipino food, we've got Loompy. Hey yo, Loompy. I love Loompy. And I know that it's called Lumpia technically, but my family calls it Loompy and that's what I've called it my entire life. Um, and so I will remain calling it Loompy. It is a Filipino food that's basically like an egg roll. Um, it has like meats in it. My mom, my mom, God bless her. She used to make it with ground pork, ground beef, and shrimp, but now she, since I don't eat pork, she does ground beef and shrimp. So good, it's amazing. Okay, tamales. That's also S tier. I love tamales. I think they are just amazing. Fun fact, my mom's friend or coworker, she makes tamales every holiday season and always gives my mom a, like a big bag of them. And so around the holidays, when I come home, I always will have one. And one year, it was freaking, it must've been like February. And they had one in the back of their fridge. And I was so excited to see a tamale that I just like grabbed it, warmed it up. And then after the fact looked and the bottom of it had a bunch of mold and it was really bad. And I got super, super sick and yeah, but it was worth it because it still tasted pretty good. S tier. Um, and then we have samosas, which if you watched my pumpkin video, you know that those pumpkin samosas were amazing. I think that this is pretty good. I think it depends on what's inside, like what kind of meat it is that's inside or what's inside of it. If it's pumpkin ones, for sure, for sure, it might even be S tier. And that is our Thanksgiving food ranking. Hey y'all. Yeah, I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job. These are usually my levels of prioritization um, when I'm eating Thanksgiving food. I made it available, so there'll be a link in the description if you also want to rank your foods and then send it to me and let me know if I, how wrong I am or that I just have impeccable taste and that you completely agree with me. Um, thanks so much for watching. <gasps> I was doing a screen cap and I closed my laptop to like be dramatic and cute um, and I didn't end the screen cap properly and so I definitely had a moment of like uh, yeah that was a scary moment for a second I thought I'd have to re-record part of my video my nose is so itchy thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day I hope that even in the midst of COVID and everything you still get to at least like speak FaceTime talk to your family enjoy foods that make you feel warm and fuzzy yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'll see you all next time bye, -bye. I'm still here.